Okay, we are going to take a look today at how to use a template to help your students open up a Google Doc, do an assignment, uh, work with a copy of it because we don't want them to ruin our original. Um, we're going to go through the process and what you need to do. So the first thing I would suggest that you do is to create your template, go into you know, change your name here, put your template up there, make all the work and describe the work right on your page that you want the kids to see. You're going to go into your sharing settings and what we want to do is go into the advanced settings so that we can adjust the settings that are global. So we're going to go into change the global settings and say that anyone with a link can view that document and we're going to save that and we're going to be done. And then we're going to go up here and copy the link to our document. So that now I know which document I'm going to give the kids. Then I'm going to go into my Google Classroom and I'm going to create an assignment that's ready to pass that out to the students. So I click on Add an Assignment and I'm going to name my assignment. Um, I'm going to call it sharing our shared Google Doc. I'm going to name it for the kids and in the instructions I'm going to put um, click the link and make a copy. It will save into Drive. So it'll put it in their Google Drive. Then what I want them to do is to open the document, go into the shared settings, and share that anyone with the link can edit. And they're going to give that link back to me, the teacher. So I need to paste the link in that we copied earlier and the magic is I need to change the word edit to the word copy. That way they will get a copy of that and I'll say click this link to make a copy and that way that's what they'll see in the assignment. So I'm going to attach that. I'm going to make a due date of Friday just so that we can see it in the homework. And I'm going to make this worth zero points. So them just making the document and sharing it back with me is not where the points are. Their work later is what will be the point. So I'm going to say create the assignment and you'll notice that it'll do the work and there's the assignment right in here between these two folders where I wanted it to be and it's ready now for the students. So I'm going to go over to one of my student accounts and I'm going to reload that page and I'm logged in as a student so I'm going to go to my class and when I log into the class I can see that assignment is there. I can also see it in my upcoming list over here, the shared Google Doc. So now when the kid opens the assignment, they're going to click on the link and it's going to ask them to make a copy. So they make a copy and it now puts it in their Google Drive. They can change the name of it. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to say my document is Siberson and so they can see that and then their assignment was to go into their share settings go to advanced and change it so that anyone with the link can edit and they're gonna save that information and then they're gonna copy the link they're gonna go back into their class and they're gonna submit the assignment and they are going to create and they're going to paste in the link
and they could even make that link active by pasting it in and they can hit submit. So now I've turned in that assignment. Now I can go back to my teacher account and in my teacher account I've got one ungraded submission so now when I look at that I can see that I have this document that I can go in and I can click on that document and I'm now on that same document that my student worked on. So I have the ability to make, make the students make a copy. They can turn in their papers and I can see who can, who can work on it. And then I can also see then if the student is logged in, we could be logged in together. I could comment, I could make corrections, and we can do all of that work right with a shared Google Doc.